Welcome back, fellow Valley investors. In this video, I wanted to cover Boyd Gaming. This company doesn't have the biggest casinos you've ever heard of. They're spread out across the United States and they operate really well. They're profitable, they generate free cash and they grow. I thought it'd be a really good company to take a look at. I'm really liking small mid cap stocks going into 2024. And this certainly fits that profile of a small mid cap stock. I'm gonna take a look at the financials for Boyd Gaming put them through my process and determine whether I want to buy or not buy their stock. I currently don't own any shares of Boyd Gaming, but it is an interesting company that I'd like to tell you about. Before I jump into the analysis, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'd really like to see your comments on what you think about Boyd Gaming. To evaluate Boyd Gaming, I'm going to look at three primary areas. The first one is probably the biggest area, which is the company. Do I think the company is a good company operated well by management in an industry I want to be in. And I'm going to take a look at that and weigh that carefully. Second, I'm going to look at the balance sheet. Make sure there isn't too, too much excessive debt. Make sure they're less than three times net debt to EBITDA and see where the balance sheet lies. Third, I need a discount. I'm a value investor. I buy stocks that are discounted. I don't buy stocks that are fairly priced and I don't buy stocks that are uh, sold at a premium. And based on the answers that I get, I will buy or not buy Boyd Gaming. So I, as mentioned in the preamble, Boyd does not own these massive casinos like a Caesars Palace or Mandalay Bay. Instead, they, they own these smaller casino and hotel operations. So I think that's smart. And the other thing is they're located regionally. So the person that wants to gamble maybe on a late afternoon or maybe on a weekend that's close to home, that's where Boyd Gaming customers tend to be. So there are properties, 29 properties across the country. And they serve 19 different markets. So they're not just in Las Vegas. They're scattered across the country. The other big area that they want to grow in and their, their revenue growth is really high is online gambling. They have really grown their online uh, betting uh, substantially. Their normal operations, the whole uh, legacy hotel and casino operations isn't growing very much. But the online uh, gambling is growing quite quickly for Boyd Gambling. So looking at their income statement for the first nine months of 2023, their overall revenues have grown about 6%. So it's good to see that. In the current quarter, they grew just a little bit. Their legacy, their, their traditional business is not growing very much. In fact, they contracted a slightly bit. Now, the online gambling is where the business is really taking off and it's the right place to be. Online gambling is really uh, growing. The whole addressable market continues to expand. So it's good to see that they have a good business in that area both for the quarter and for the year to date, that area of the business is growing real nice. And I'm attracted to Boyd Gaming because they have a very good online gambling presence and they don't have excessive property related uh, assets. They have these 29 regionally located properties. Uh, they don't have massive casino properties like Caesars Palace or the Wynn and so forth. So that's good to see. The other impressive item on their income statement is that they're profitable. So. Their operating income is really strong. It really supports, you know, less than three times EBITDA of um, net debt is less than three times EBITDA because they produce a lot of EBITDA. So that's a, a strength in Boyd Gaming. Looking at the performance of Boyd Gaming based on earnings per share, they've been performing well, nice and profitable. And I'm going to use the next four quarters of earnings per share to value the company based on earnings per share. They have a low PE, just 10.3 if you look at forward earnings. I'm going to use 16, which is higher, uh, but uh, casinos can get a higher PE. And again, I really like that their their online gambling business is really growing. If that continues to grow at the rate that it's growing. That's going to be a major part of this company. And I believe their multiple is really going to change if investors realize that, hey, Boyd Gaming is really in the online gambling business. I think their multiple is really going to expand. Looking at the balance sheet, the cash balance on the balance sheet looks good. It's nice and stable. It's good to see that long-term debt is going down. Very good to see it being paid off. This company has acquired other businesses, and you can see that in the intangible assets and goodwill. That usually is a sign that the company has been acquiring in the history of the company. So it's good to see that, hey, the debt is less than three times EBITDA. Um, and I'll put that on, on the overall valuation, make sure that they do qualify to be a, a good investment for me because their balance sheet is in good health. The statement of cash flows, a very important statement for me because I value companies based on free cash flow as well. Cash flows from operations did go down a little bit, but it went down. It's nice to see that grow year after year, especially if revenues are growing. 
looks like they had to invest more money into the business. They went from $173 million of CapEx to 279. So they probably have had to remodel some businesses, maybe invest in that online gambling uh, business by buying technology and so forth. But it is a, a point that, you know, free cash flows have gone down. I'm going to use the free cash flows that I'm seeing for the first nine months of 2023 and annualize that number and compute what I think the value is for the company using uh, discounted free cash flows. I believe Boyd Gaming is discounted by 9%, but that's such a small discount, I would say that they're probably just fairly priced. The current uh, value that I have on the company is $66.64, but the stock is trading at $61. So pretty close to the valuation I have on the company. Where did I get my numbers? First, I discounted their free cash flows. And as mentioned earlier, their free cash flows for 2023 annualized are going to be about $558 million. I'm going to grow those cash flows by 6%. That's been their revenue growth rate. And maybe they grow cash flows a little quicker, but that's a good conservative rate that I'm going to use. Long term, I'm going to grow 3%, cash flows by 3%. So all these cash flows I expect in the future, I'm going to discount at 9.5. This is a small company in a riskier sector. So I'm going to go with a, a more conservative uh, discount rate of 9.5%. The net present value of all those cash flows is $8.6 billion. I'm going to add the cash, but take away the debt to get to an equity value of $5.9 billion. Company is the market cap of the company is $6 billion. So you see that there's about a 5% premium currently priced in the stock for Boyd. The earnings per share look really good. Strong, earning, and profitable company. I like that about them. Their PE, I'm going to use a 16. I believe their PE is going to, you're going to have a multiple expanded because as investors realize there's an online gaming component to this company. I think it'll expand from 10 up to 16. And based on that criteria, I use this formula to determine the value of Boyd using their earnings per share growth rate of 13%, a multiple of 16. And I get to a share value of $83.47. Company is being traded at $61.31. So there's actually a 36% discount if we use earnings per share. I blend the two, but I put more weight on free cash flows and I get pretty much a fairly priced company with a 9% discount. Looking at where the stock for Boyd has been over the last 12 months, it's quite interesting. You had the stock really rise just coming out of the gate in 2023. It came back down and then it rose and it rose to pretty good levels at around $72 per share. Now, more recently, it had a, a pretty significant drop in share price and then a rally. So it's had really good volatility to say the least. And that's good for a value investor. I can pick places to invest in the company. And overall, the company is, the stock price is up 12.72% year to date. And they pay a small dividend of 1%. And they also buy back shares. So to finish off the evaluation of Boyd Gaming, let me go through my process and make a decision whether I should buy shares or really uh, just hold off from buying shares of Boyd. First is the company. What do I think of the company? I think the company is excellent. I think they're doing the right things, investing in online gambling. I like that they have smaller casino properties. I like their profitability. I really like that about the business. I like their balance sheet, very good health. I like the balance sheet, but I don't like the discount. I'm a value investor. I like seeing uh, higher discounts. And a couple of things can change that, that uh, discount level. If they come out with better earnings, it'll raise the value of the company and maybe increase that discount. Having said that, I'm going to hold off from buying any shares of Boyd Gaming. It is just a hold. If I own this stock and I owned it for a long time and I was sitting on a gain, I'd probably just hold it. But since I don't own any shares, I'm going to hold off from buying any shares in Boyd Gaming. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it interesting. Do me a big favor and leave a comment on Boyd Gaming. I love reading comments and I appreciate yours. Also, like my video and subscribe to my channel. With that, thanks again for watching and happy holidays.